and welcome to Ready, Set, Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Frosted Forest stamps, um, dies and also masks that come with this incredible bundle. And I'm going to show you a tip um, of a different way to use one of these masks to get even more detail on to your trees. So stay with me for that and also stay with me for um, I'm going to go through all of my samples at the end um, and show you some more tips and ideas. Right, so let's get started with this demonstration. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is use a bit of stamp and seal and actually adhere um, my piece of cardstock here to my fantastic glass mat studio from Stampin' Up. And if you haven't already seen my 16 ways to use your, your glass mat studio video, um, then it is actually on Ready, Set, Demo on the, um, on the YouTube channel. So have a little look. I'll try and link it down below as well so you can find that because they you need one of these if you don't already have one. There's so many different ways to use it. But so we're going to start off by adhering that down so it doesn't move around while we are using it. And then I'm going to ink up my tree image. This is sort of the oak tree, I would say, style of tree that's in there. So we get all the detail then onto here. And then we're going to start with the masks. So our very first mask that we're using, and I haven't cleaned that up, but just to show you how easy it is to clean up, when you've got the glass mat, you just give it a wipe. Um, this little piece, this little uh, uh, cleaner comes with it. And we're going to put this on. But again, love the glass mat because I can add a little bit of adhesive top and bottom there. And again, this is going to hold this in place. And don't worry about the adhesive on the back of your um, mask because you can just clean that off. I do it with a little bit of um, hand sanitizer um, to clean the sticky off the mask there. And obviously it cleans off the, the glass mat like a dream. So we're holding that in place and then I'm going to grab some crumb cake to start here. I'm going to tap off so we don't get too much. Well, that is quite a pale colour with the with the crumb, and I'm going to do that tree trunk, colouring it through the mask. And as you do that, you can see all the detail of the stamping really start to pop with the wood grain coming up there. Now, to help you get everything lined up in the top corners, and let me grab a little piece of coloured cardstock here so you can see in the top corner you've got a little notch and next to the notch it says number one for this particular tree so we're going to use that as our guide as we put the layers on so we remove this one and then we're going to put our next layer on notch up in the corner use that as a guide to line everything up position that in place. I don't need to put any more adhesive on there. It'll stay on on the the, um, the glass mat. Green on my fingers. Um, it'll stay on the glass mat until um, until you actually clean it off there. So let's move this one out of the way and we're going to start with granny apple green. Now again I'm going to tap off because I want this to be a light layer in this particular case of granny apple. So Tap off so that you don't have too much on your blending brush. And little circles to get a pale, palish layer of the green. So that's layer number one. I'm going to lift this off and we're going to do layer number two. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to talk about the fact that I'm going to give you a tip to get more detail on. Have a look at this one. Can you see we've got kind of blobs of the darker colour on this tree? So I'm going to show you how we can get um, some detail into those darker areas. So once again, I'm going to line up 
my mat with number three up in the top corner. Press that down. And I'm going in with Granny Apple again, but we're now going to go darker. So we're going to build this colour up into those detailed, um, the, into those, those blobs, I'm going to call them. Those areas of leaf that are in shade. And it still looks lovely just with this. You don't have to do my extra step, but I'll show you the difference if we do an extra step. Okay. So now we've got this. Now let me lift it off and we'll have a little look. And you can see it's got, I'll lift it right up to the camera. So you can see what I'm talking about. It is how a tree would look with some, with some areas of shade, but I would like a little bit more detail than those larger um, shade areas because we know that light is dappled. Um, and so we want a kind of a dappled light look. And so what I thought I would try to achieve this is to use one of the other um, dies. And this one here is for the Christmas tree. Now, a couple of things I'll mention. We've got three layers of the two Christmas tree sizes. These have got the notch. You're going to use the notch at the side and they are A, B and C rather than one, um, one two and three. So just watch out for that. So I'm going to put this one back on because I don't want my detail all over the place. There we go. Put that back in. And I'm going to bring in um, a old olive. And I'm going to use this tree. And I'm not lining it up anywhere. I'm just going to put it generally, but it's over the top of the other mask. And that means that the places that are going to hit are going to be, yes, on where that mask is, but not over all of it, just over a little of it. And when we take that off, you can now see that we have got multiple areas of light and dark going on to that tree. Now, you can do it with the finer one and get more detail if you want to. And let me show you another trick for that. So this time we're going to put our original back on. Line that up. And let's get this little tiny detail one of the mini, of that little mini tree. Make sure that's lined. And again, with our darker colour, we're just going to go over there, over there. Looks weird while you've got the two masks on. It doesn't reveal until you take it off. Lift that up and there you go. Now you've got a much more um, mixed look compared to that tree. Now, you may prefer that, in which case that is great. Go for that one. Um, but if you want to have that, that bigger variation in colour, then this is your friend. This also works very well if you want to do like an autumn colour and bring in different tones. Just remember to start with your lighter colour first and then go to your softer colour. So let's have a look at some sample um, projects. Have a little clean up first, which is so easy with the glass mat, the glass stamp and studio mat. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at some of these and a few um, hints and tips. Um, included in the dies, um, we do have the detailed trees. So I did a little um, scene there with the smaller tree and the detailed ones. Another one here where I've used lighter and darker um, inks on there and then given it a soft um, brush of ink. Um, mostly green at the bottom, a little bit of blue around the top. And just these uninked trees, so just stamped and uninked in the background to give a, a, a look of a bit of distance. Two different ways um, with an autumn look. So this one is the dies, and you can see they're sort of like a really detailed piece. I think this would work also for like a spring blossom look too. 
and then this one stamped. But here I used the mask to hold me in position, um, but then I watercolored over the top with the different um, areas and it kind of blended it together and gave that um, that soft look on that tree. Another couple of the um, trees. This one I've I've done as original, as 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 nature intended, as, as the diet intended. With this one, I only used the for the um, layer. I only used that double um, uh, layer of the detail stamp with the full detail on the top of it, the Christmas tree one on the top of it, and just got little tiny bits of shading. So different look again there. And then just to compare that with the one that we've just done. Which do you prefer? Um, we've got some more Christmas trees. Here I decided to have a kind of a snowy effect. Um, for these, I used the, the pearlized enamel um, in white. And I just did little dots on them. And then I took the tip of my um, pokey tool and just dragged those little uh, those little dots out to make a sort of a layers of um, of snow and I put, put a little bit of white chalk marker on there as well just to again to emphasize the the snowy effect make sure you you clean your tip off afterwards um, and then leave it to dry completely and um, with both the red the, the red and the white pearlized I decorated a Christmas tree too with just little dots there you go so if you like these um, projects and you'd like to use them um, on your perhaps in your own private groups for social media um, I do some um, non-logoed versions of these um, I've also done some of the leaves as well um, that are in the online exclusives um, and you'll get those free with um, my online exclusive printables if you choose to purchase those. Um, they have everything in that you need to show your customers. So we've got the images of the stamps, we've got um, some sample pieces, we've got um, the um, prices in your local currency. You can just print out the one for your local currency. Um, all very easy to use um, and you will find those at Ready, Set, Demo. Again, I will leave a little link down below. So thanks for visiting. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up and, um, and subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps and I do appreciate it. Thanks for visiting a Ready, Set, Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room today. Yeah.